Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? This your boy Savalas Williams with No Limit Album Reviews. Before I get into anything, because I want to salute my nephew holding the camera for me. I'm the shadow, yo. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Hey, look, I'm outside of that, thanks. You're going to be my uh, worker for the day. I'm going to pay you in uh, food later. Eat some peaches or something. All right? Now, <laughs> so, hey, I got a lot of videos I need to get to that I haven't got to. You know what I mean? Been real busy like always, but finally got a couple hours in to do something. So I'm going to do it for the fans, man. I'm going to do it for y'all. So look, uh, a lot of people hitting me up. I hit up a lot of people about doing videos and this, that, and the third. And now um, I got a lot of stuff coming. So just uh, we ain't went nowhere. We still here. We still live and direct. So uh, one of the first things I need to address is the video the homeboy hit me up about is after I did the um, Only God Could Judge Me review y'all go check that out if y'all ain't seen it is uh he asked me could i do a video talking about why that's my favorite album of all time you know so this is that video so masterpiece album only god could judge me is my favorite no limit album or album period of all time because i don't care what nobody say man i heard the album you heard the album it's a diss album like, the whole album's a diss record. Like, Cash Money, they dissing. Pastor Troy, they dissing. Anybody who ever said anything disrespectful or out of the side of their neck, wrong to any member of the tank, got dissed on that record. You feel me? So, um, and that's, it's, it's, um, it's kind of strange, but it's not strange. It's strange because No Limit was founded on the core roots is we independent, we self-determined, we don't talk about people on records, you know, you handle it face to face, whatever the problem is. P is known for always telling people, two mounts might not never meet, but two men will, you know? But on that album, he didn't care. He was like, yo, we gonna drop this song, we gonna drop this song, we gonna drop this song, we gonna drop this song. All of them are subliminal messages hitting people right in the neck. You know what I'm saying? So, look, I love that. I'm not gonna lie, I love it. You know what I mean? Because uh, as a mogul in the game, you know, he let so many things go, so many rumors, so many uh, uh, shots. He, he, just, he didn't even, never speak about them. And he had so much success in that time period. We're talking about, uh, we can go back to from 95 to 98. That three year span, it was so much success. You know what I'm saying? He hit the deal with Priority. He had his albums, he had the movies, the soundtracks, all the collaborations and all that. And then people just started throwing shade, throwing shade. When people couldn't get on the label, they started throwing shade. You know what I mean? Um, people were just jealous, throwing shade. And P let all of it slide. Like, all of, everything. He, it was a rumor that he had died just because the man was uh, becoming famous and rich. And, like, all kind of things were happening during that time. And he didn't say nothing about it. But the only guy could, and the, another thing about only guy could judge me. Remember, this was the album that came out after his retirement album. So all the things that people said, P had let it go. He was like, I'm retired. I'm focused on my um, other endeavors, you know, my businesses. And I'm not worried about music. I'm going to let all my other artists do their things. I'm going to sit back, sign the checks, do the promotion, the marketing, and let that be that. But no. Somebody, and I'm glad Mr. Servo, I've seen an interview most recently where Mr. Servo addressed one of that, the one things that always bothered me about the whole cash money thing. When Birdman said what he said on the song uh, Hot Girls where uh, y'all go back and listen to it. I'm not going to say what he said, you know what I mean? But if y'all go back and listen to it, y'all know what Birdman said on the song Hot Girls that was disrespectful to P and, uh, and, and the whole camp when he was talking about uh, the Thug Girl song, basically. So anyway, I was like, nobody never said nothing about it until most recently, Servo finally said something about it in the interview that I seen. Now, I was like, why would Birdman even do something like that? You know what I mean? Because to my knowledge, up until that point, P, No Limit, everybody, they never said nothing disrespectful to them about them cats. So what pursued Birdman to do that? You know, what pushed him to put that, put that uh, part in that verse for that song? I mean, it's just something to do, I guess, when you want to, when somebody at the top, you got to go for them because you always need, you always need a, 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 um, an adversary. You always need somebody, you know, 
you know, uh, Nike versus Adidas. You know what I'm saying? Coke versus Pepsi. You always need somebody to go up against. And I felt like Cash Money or Birdman, and as an individual, felt like No Limit was the people that he needed. To, well, P was that person that he needed to go up against. Um, and so it's a lot of other things in that dynamic. No, a lot of actual street stuff that happened between them two guys that I really don't know too much about. But that's their business, and we're gonna leave it there for them. You know. Um, it's sad that they never hooked up and did anything on the music industry when they both was like flaming hot, but that's neither here nor there now because that time is come and gone. Now, the album Only God Could Judge Me once again. That's just one part of the Only God Could Judge Me dynamic when you're talking about the beef. You know what I mean? The song Ice on My Wrist. Who you think that song talking about? Come on, y'all. Let's be real. You know, y'all don't want nothing. Come on, man. Uh, Return of the Dawn. Come on, man. Um, Step to this. Salute to Dig, D-I-G. Um, get your mind right. It, man, there's so many songs on this. Just open your ears and listen and, and check out what's going on around you. That's why I love that album. But, you know, back to what I was saying a little bit before about P retiring. So he did the last dime. He was done. Boom. Every, all this stuff started coming out. And P was like, he woke up one day. Like, hey, I'm playing basketball. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. But you know what? I got to address something real quick. Let me go in the out. Let me go in the booth. Boom. The intro, the only guy could judge me. He speak about some things. Open your ears and listen. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so I just respect it because he finally addressed a lot of the haters and a lot of the people who was disrespectful. You know, uh, and not only that he addressed it, he did it in a classy way. He did it on an album. You know what I mean? That was a spiritual uh, uh, title album that had a spiritual background and subliminal messages within the project that was really powerful that anybody could feel who has a, uh, any connection spiritually with whatever uh, uh, divine power you believe in. So um, that was, uh, you know, powerful. You know what I'm saying? And so Only God Could Judge Me, man, is my favorite No Limit album of all time because of those reasons. You know, uh, P was done with the gang, with the rap game. He came back and he put together a phenomenal album like Club Song, Heartfelt song, uh, don't mess with me song, and don't play with nobody who I'm affiliated with and who I love song. I mean, um, and you know, a God, you know, he threw, he threw, he threw God in there a lot. So, um, I mean, it don't get no better than only God could judge me, man. Like, uh, so that's why I love Masterpiece album. Only God could judge me. People want to say that, oh, he trying to be like Tupac. He took Tupac. Uh, phrase or word or, or song or whatever the case may be and I'm just like dog yeah, most recently y'all just seen a picture of Pac and, and Tupac uh, on that picture together that's floating around uh, Facebook and Instagram Man, and we already the fans already knew P already talked about it you know what I mean him and Pac used to go on tour together you know what I'm saying so he it wasn't no diss at Pac he wasn't trying to be Pac he wasn't trying to take Pac stuff you know he was just uh, if anything showing homage and, and showing love to Pac but at the same time you know what I mean? Addressing addressing some serious issues that was going on in his immediate life as far as music. You know? So, don't start nothing, won't be none. Simple as that. 